95 years Albanian Muslim community. Throughout history, Albanian Muslims have played a key role in all state-building processes of our country. Main principles such as faith, hospitality, generosity, harmony, and ethnical and religious coexistence, which are among fundamental norms and ethics of Islam, are part of the Albanian national identity, and today, Albanians continue to take a great pride through these values in the world. The Declaration of Independence found religious leaders leading key in historical moments of our country. These prominent leaders were exactly those that would unify Islamic institutions in the Albanian territory through organizing several national congresses. After the Declaration of Independence, the first speaker of the assembly was Haji Vehbi Dibra, who religiously legitimated the Albanian national flag. Later, he would be appointed as General Mufti, and after several years in this position, Hajiva Bidibra and other Albanian scholars organized the first Albanian Muslim Congress 95 years ago to establish the highest Islamic Albanian institution in the country, the Albanian Muslim community. Thirty-six delegates attended the Albanian Muslim Congress where seven of them were members of the Albanian Assembly. Thus, the Muslim community of Albania was founded 95 years ago by Albanian National Renaissance and Declaration of Independence signatories members as a community that would represent the voice of Muslim believers in Albania, in all Albanian ethnic territories and in many cases the voice of the whole Albanians everywhere. As expected, this institution is the continuation of Islamic institutions that existed for centuries in our country through muftinis, sharia courts, madrasas, and mahdebs operating almost in every Albanian area. Hajiva Bidibra, who was elected also chairman of the Albanian Muslim community, stressed in front of all the delegates the importance of the Albanians' national brotherhood. As you may know, the population of our state is composed by three different religious groups such as Muslim, Catholic and Orthodox. However, in relation to the nationality among these groups, we have a common brotherhood and nothing that can be said or done can shake our brotherhood. Religion is a personal matter and everyone is free to enrich and strengthen their own belief. The institutionalization of our religion has been decided since the Congress of Dibra, but the Balkan Wars have prevented achieving this goal. In the early years of its formation, the Muslim community was not only a promoter of high moral education in society, but also the forerunner of a well-organized institution, which constituted a model for other state institutions and beyond which at that point naturally needed to follow existing best examples. One important step of the Muslim community of Albania was the unification of the madrasa, which was originally named the High Madrasa, opened in Tirana, the capital of Albania, in 1924, which in the future will be also a high school later named General Madrasa. Important Albanian personalities would emerge from this institution and would make an extraordinary contribution to, in the country. Those who survived communist terror in the 1990s would become promoters of the reopening of religious institutions and madrasa all over the country after the end of the communist regime. Another important area where the Albanian Muslim community has made an extraordinary contribution is the field of books and magazines publication such as High Voice in two periods of time, from 1923 to 1939 and from 2012 onwards, Islamic Culture from 1939 to 1945, Human Being from 1942 to 1944, Islamic Light from 1992 onward, etc. The years that would follow particularly after the Second World War, with beginning of the communist regime, 
were very cruel with the religious communities and believers, as well as was the case with all Albanians. Suffering became a part of life of the largest religion community in the country for more than half a century. More than anyone else, the believers were denied to commemorate God, their faith was banned, their conscience was suspended, and their communication with their Creator, the Lord of the Universe, was interrupted. The communist atheistic regime, which was established in Albania in 1944, started utilizing violence against religion by persecuting not only religious leaders, but also ordinary people. In 1967, Albania was declared the first atheistic country in the world by destroying most of the churches, mosques, antiques in the country. Of the 1,127 mosques in 1967, only few remained in 1990, which were mostly transformed into warehouses or were abandoned and ruined completely. The most known public figures representing the Albanian Muslims were convicted by communist trials, while many others would die in prisons and in concentration camps. The reopening of Islamic religious activities after the collapse of the communist system in Albania took place on November 16, 1990, at Plumbi Mosque in, in Shkodra under the chairmanship of Hafiz Sabri Kochi. Brothers and sisters, Muslims, Catholics and Orthodox. Above all, Albanian brothers. Today we've got the greatest joy of all. After 23 years, to listen to the greatest pleasure of our hearts and souls. Today, the Albanian Muslim community has its own institutions throughout the country where each branch has its own associates, miftinis, mosques and educational institutions, madrasa and Bader University constituting its higher educational institution. Today, AMC has over 1,000 employees, muftis and imams in the regions, teachers and education staff in all its education system. Albania's Muslim community carries an extraordinary burden at a time of great institutional and national challenges in maintaining peace and social, educational, moral and interreligious coexistence. The transition of this institution has been quite difficult because in the 1990s found this institution completely destroyed in every aspect as the communist regime had destroyed it completely. The national aspect and the tradition of this institution was the biggest challenge that made it difficult to re-establish and rebuild this institution, as its religious leaders have been and are Albanians. As the lighting period of the Albanian Muslim leaders had long since disappeared, this constituted a big challenge over the years of the Muslim community. Nowadays, the Albanian Muslim community faces many other different challenges. However, this consolidated institution is a guarantee for contributing and having an important voice in the Albanian society. Yeah.